Before breaking in, burglars try to learn as much as they can. If you have an alarm system, what kind of doors and windows you have, if you have a dog, and so on. If you feel uncomfortable about weird questions some stranger asks you, casually mention that you've recently installed a super expensive home security system, your dog is nuts, and your partner is a cop. Oh, and your mother is a deputy sheriff at the local jail. <laughs> know that something's not right if somebody's taking pics of your house and car. They might even try to be sneaky about it, like pretending they're taking a selfie or talking on the phone as they snap the pic. If you don't trust random photographers, stay cool and explain you just don't want them to do it and that it's your private property. Burglars also might stage some accident just to lure you out of your house. A fake utility worker can claim there's a gas or water leak. You leave the room for a couple of minutes, but it's already too late. An experienced burglar can get what they need in as little as 90 seconds. Always validate the identity of strangers showing up like this. Just call your utility provider. Beware if you see some sticker or paint on your door. Sure, these could be just coincidental nuisances, but it can also be a sign that someone wants to mark your house and set it apart from the rest. Get rid of it as soon as you can. Burglars can leave marks, and so can you. To find out if you've had some unexpected visitors scoping the place out, leave some cookies under your welcome mat. If someone comes up to check where you are, they'll crush them. It's a crummy trick. Your doorbell rings, you answer it, and nobody's on the other side. Before you blame those neighborhood pranksters again, consider this. Someone could be checking to see if you're home. Same goes for any strange calls you get with nobody on the other line. If you still have a home phone, that is. On that note, don't just open the door at any knock or ring. Verify who's on the other side first. If they say they're from your utility company, rental office, or city services, ask them for ID and call the company to get it checked. Even if you have a video doorbell. Anybody can buy a uniform these days. Don't go based on looks alone. A seemingly innocent flyer or ad under the doormat can also mean your house is a target. If it's still there the next day, it can make burglars think that nobody's home. Any person who finds some junk mail under their feet will throw it away, right? Speaking of junk mail, sometimes we're just too lazy or absent-minded to collect it. But too much mail in the box or a pile of old newspapers on the porch send one message. This homeowner is away and has been out for a while. If you really are away, don't forget to stop your mail delivery. Be careful when you sell your car or any other big price items. Delete the ads you posted as soon as you sell it. Many burglars call and pretend to be interested, asking if you still have it. Saying, no, sold it already, will let them know you've just gotten a lot of money. Even if you spend it already, this person might like to break in and find out for themselves. Be sure to keep your shrubbery trimmed and your lawn nice and neat. One, others will know your home and taking care of the outdoor chores. And two, Overgrown bushes make a great hiding place for intruders. If you'll be gone on vacation, have someone take care of your lawn for you. When it comes to hiding valuables, remember, the kitchen, bathroom, and kids' rooms are usually the least interesting places for intruders. You can cut a slit in the back of an empty shampoo bottle, slide your jewelry or spare cash into it, and hide it in plain sight. Plant pots also make for great hiding places and fill your home with houseplants. Who'd think to check there, and who'd want to check them all? Remember that intruders can even follow you on social media. An innocent status on Facebook like, off on vacay, see you in a week, or sunrise in Bali, don't ever want to leave, will let the bad guys know nobody's home. Keep your page private, and don't overshare about vacations, big purchases you made, or expensive gifts you've received from loved ones. Your garbage can can also tell a lot of things about you. An empty box for a new flat-screen TV, computer, gadget, gaming console, they all show that you have nice things and money to spend. And check any papers you throw away. Your name, date of birth, social security number, password, or credit card number can end up in the wrong hands. 
A dog is the best alarm system you could think of. Doesn't have to be a Rottweiler or a German Shepherd. Barking dogs attract attention, which means higher chances of getting witnessed by neighbors and caught. If you're ready for the responsibility and never-ending love and loyalty, adopt yourself a pooch. Or install fake security cameras around your house if you must. The sight of them alone will scare most burglars away. Same goes for security company stickers on the windows. Outside lighting is a must, especially when it's motion activated. And if you find your outdoor light bulbs keep going out, it's cause for alarm. Have an electrician check it out, and if nothing's wrong, it could be someone out there trying to stay unidentified in the dark. And when you're gone for a while, keep your indoor lights lit too, but not all the time. A dark house and a constantly lit house can mean the same thing. Nobody's home. Get a timer that'll mimic your typical schedule. They're on during work hours and switch off at night. You can hook TVs and stereos up to those timers as well. Don't keep spare keys under the doormat, in a potted outdoor plant, or under some rock in the garden. If you're sitting there right now thinking, wow, what obvious cliché spots, then you know burglars are thinking the same thing and will check them. Do you have that little bowl near the front door where you throw your wallet keys and watch when you get home? Many of us do, and burglars know it. They can break into the front door and grab the valuables in that bowl. You've just made their job a lot easier. Know your neighborhood. Statistics show that there are fewer burglaries in areas where neighbors know each other. New faces could be people who are lost, just moved in, or up to no good. Keep track of who's outside and how often. If someone's acting suspicious, looking around, trying to keep their face covered, beware. And do your part in the neighborhood if you see a stranger knocking on all the doors or checking the locks. First off, take a picture so you have hard evidence, but do it stealthily. If the stranger won't go away and keeps on, consider calling the police. Knowing your neighbors also means having someone to keep your house looking lived in while you're away. If you trust your new nearby friend enough, give them the keys to your house, ask them to then check your mail, shovel your driveway of snow, mostly in winter, water the flowers, and other favors like that. Keep a detailed record of all the valuables that you have. Don't forget to make a photocopy of all the essential documents. It's better to keep it in a cloud. Documents are valuable for burglars because they can be used for identity theft. If your house key suddenly got stuck in the hole or you experience problems opening the door, it can also be a sign that your house is a target. Better change the locks because it's possible that someone tried to break in. Yeah, unexpected expenses are kind of annoying, but security comes first.